Hello, Mugglers! Hello, hello, and welcome. This is the number one potato bus coming at you live. Live, live, live from the San Francisco Auditorium yes. in Venice. Um, and, what? Oh. And, 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 and today is a very cool episode. Um, we've got... Uh, a guest today. Yes, we have a guest. Yes, um, I'm here also, by yeah, the way. Uh, I'm well, Jared. Okay, so, yeah, so Jared is here, but he's not sitting in the same place. <laughs> I'm, no I'm, I'm, I'm sitting somewhere different, because <laughs> apparently it's it's important to some of, some of the people <laughs> that people know exactly where we're sitting. I am currently to Murad's left, which, where which is not my be. usual place. Um, but yeah, Chris and Kevin can't I've, be here um, due to reasons. I've usurped both Chris and Kevin. I have made their power <laughs> my own, and I am sitting in there. <laughs> then. Um, shared location. Anyways, uh, yeah, we, uh, uh, we got a yeah, we got a guest. We got a new, I guess, I guess you could say a new member of the Mogpot family. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, extended family. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I guess uh, 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 um, so. So uh, today here we got Genesis Cisneros. Say how hi. How you doing, Genesis? Same. I love it. Hey, how's it going? Did I did I <laughs> did I put your last name? It's the uh, Cisneros. Oh, okay. <laughs> So I did butcher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only, only, only a lot, Murad. Gosh. <laughs> okay, Genesis. Um, uh, so people that don't know, uh, like people know you in the in the community, but um, just recently, you, for those of us who don't know, uh, yeah, for the people who don't know, you just recently um, uh, took on the mantle of being a meme meme king, meme uh, lord. our 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 meme lord for the Facebook yeah. page, right? So Genesis <laughs> is handling our meme Mondays from now on. Yes. Um, and Genesis. Uh, and I'm sorry. I'm gonna just keep doing that. I hope. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> Genesis. 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 <laughs> um, oh shoot. Okay. Um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So uh, Genesis is here today. We um, really take down the starting soon. Seems yes. that we've started now. Yes, we have started now. Yes. Um, uh, before before we do uh, before we go any further, Genesis, do you wanna introduce, introduce yourself? yourself. Um, Tell us, well, well, tell us a little bit about you. Tell us your favorite element, your favorite Final Fantasy game, and <laughs> what kind of player you are. All right, I'm back in high school. Um, <laughs> hey, I'm Genesis. In- so introduce I... yourself to the class. <laughs> you can only talk if you're holding the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Pass around the talking stick. Sorry, I, I, I will stop interrupting you eventually. <laughs> you're fine. So basically, I've played Mono Lightning since Opus 2, so that's just kind of been my go-to element yeah. ever since. That's basically it's, since there was a Mono Lightning to play. Yeah, since El Cid came out, I was like, that's a JoJo character, I'm playing him. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, basically I just play whatever Mono Lightning does, which is remove stuff. So I'm an avid hater of power in this game. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, so you hate my decks. Basically, like, oh, does your power reach anything above 10k? Oh, it's bad. <laughs> I I generally agree with the sentiment. Um, I mean, so so you are you you play all of the lightning shrink spells and stuff like that. Oh yeah, yeah. and all the aggro stuff, and then mm-hmm. just get bodied by mono water once they play Ash with Rassler. I'm like, mm-hmm. mm, oh no, lovely. What do we do? <laughs> as 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 our our resident fire player, I, I can I can appreciate that problem. Oh, you play fire? I mostly play fire or water, but yeah. Oh. yeah I, I, uh, nice. I mean, you know, when fire got bad, he went to fire water. But fi- fire was fire's not bad, bro. You just you just need to kind of add the right support elements. I am I play a lot of fire, man. Uh-huh. Oh. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay. I just play I'm like purple color is the best. <laughs> purple color, oh, yeah, it makes sense. Just, if, if, if we don't have aesthetic, then what do we have? Mm-hmm. Well, <laughs> uh, what's your favorite Final Fantasy game? <laughs> um, Final Fantasy IX. Ah, oh, nine. Um, uh, that metal pong boy Kuja, you know. Sorry, oh, what was yeah. that last bit you said? <laughs> metal pong boy Kuja. <laughs> <laughs> At one point, um, there was a uh, leading uh, earlier in the year. There was a, a con here in New Zealand. Um, Chris was gonna. He was planning on cosplaying Kuja. No, did, really? did, you, did he tell you about that? No, no. He hasn't. He hasn't no, gotten ready yet. So maybe that's maybe that's next year, Chris. <laughs> uh, it'll be. It'll be he's fun. He's so fabulous, though. He's, um, well, he's. It'll be great. Is he? Is he he's the so most fabulous cool. villain, Kuja? Uh, yes. Like, what? Well, Genesis is pretty that. fabulous. <laughs> Uh, no, like, not. He, he, just, he goes he around. He goes around quoting poetry, and he looks like <laughs> Gacked. That's. I mean, if that's not fabulous, I don't know what is. I don't know. <laughs> 
Because <laughs> I mean, there's so many flamboyant characters. Seymour is pretty, pretty freaking flamboyant as well. And so many like characters he's, that he, look he has, like girls. Well, yeah, 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 yeah that's true. Yeah, anyways. Um, Walking around with that open shirt. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Well, to be honest, everyone walks around with an open shirt above it. Uh, and lots yeah, of Jack doesn't even have a shirt. <laughs> it's like, what are shirts? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so, uh, yeah, um, I guess we're going to uh, move on. Um, so today we're going to do a card of the week, followed by a mock pod community design. Oh, um, when MC. I shared the um, Squall uh, card uh, earlier this week. The uh, poo-poo squall from last the, week. The poo-poo squall. Uh, a lot of people actually made a lot of submissions. Oh, yeah? Um in the comment section. Oh, cool. Because people don't That's like awesome. sending emails. But oh, anyways. And, and on the YouTube page or on uh, the Facebook? On Facebook, on Facebook. Right. Because um, you guys can always send your, your MCDs as well just through to either um, our... You can send email. it through the Facebook page through to yeah, like our email, which is mockplotgaming... At gmail.com. At gmail.com. Yeah. And then if you're if you're one of the <coughs> one of our our mogglers on the Discord, I think we've got a... A Discord room now, yeah, just for, for, for our MCDs. Yeah. So yeah, we got that now yeah. too. Uh, if you're a patron, you get to see the MCDs early. Um, that sounds like fun. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, we got those, and uh, we're gonna go on uh, after that to deck discussions. Uh, you know, back to usual program. Cool beans. Oh, okay. Um, thanks for commenting, C Bro Carno. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway. Anyways. So um, our card <laughs> of the week. What do we yes, have this week? Yes. Yes. Okay. Well, so. Um, why don't you start uh, talking about a while? Try to change so the we <laughs> thought we'd uh, we'd pick a, a pretty nifty legend in in obviously the the best element. We've got the new fire Lan that we're going to take a look at this week. It is a four cost eight k Mirage Keeper. He's a forward. He's from Woff, oh. and he reads: If you control card name Rain, Lan gets plus one thousand power. When Lan deals damage to your opponent or to a forward, choose one forward. You may pay fire, 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 one. If you do, deal it damage equal to Lan's power. So this guy's like two for one city, right? If you've, yeah, got, yeah. If you've got the backups up to pay for his thing. He's, he's, he's also like five for one city if you've got enough mana. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> that seems... Because I'll be like... Cause I, like I didn't. I didn't realize it chains at, at off. first. Yeah. 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 That's you can, the cool you thing. can keep on chaining it if you've got enough mana. It's, it's, you gotta gotta be like pretty pretty deep down the mono fire in rabbit hole. Uh, you're doing I mean, that, I think. Uh, I mean, like majority fire. Majority. Yeah. Well, you, thinking, you have to be super like super fire tilted, right? Not not not, not super fire tilted. Just sli- um, slightly because four CP is a lot of CP. You can uh, you can play Zoo because like, he's on fire wind. Oh yeah, you're right. You can. Uh, I call uh, I call that the like, hopeless orphan. <laughs> can, you, can you guess why I call hopeless hopeless orphan? I'm going to assume because it's an Earth deck that plays orphan and Lan. Oh okay, I've done that before. <laughs> I've I done know. that before, but no, no. <laughs> all right, all right. No, why I'll, are they hopeless orphans? We, what uh, other orphans have you crammed into this this deck? Uh, how about we talk about our dick discussions? All right. Yeah. We'll, okay. We'll, 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 <laughs> we'll bring discussion. that up later. We'll bring it up later. Anyways, um, but uh, but the point is that you can zoo- if you have got majority fire backups, mm. you can play the zoo that can activate all backups. You discard it, you mean? Or uh, you, you can play dis- it. Oh, uh, well, you can discard it to yeah, essentially make it like a okay. fire card, and in or, between, or or you can just like um, play it and then right, activate right, all right. Your backups. So in between each trigger, what you do mm. is you you break it to activate all your backups, yeah. so you've got resources to to. Trigger Lan again. Yeah, I mean, I like, like this. Okay. This yeah. sounds like fun. I'm, um, I'm on board. What do you? Um, what is? Uh, what are your thoughts, Genesis? Um, I like that you can basically burn, and you don't have to pay anything if your opponent decides to boost out of reach. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, I'm a huge fan of that. I don't like wasting stuff just to have them say, "Well, I'm 11k now." Exactly. Yeah. Mm. And it's so great that you can pay on resolution. You don't have to yeah. pay on t- on the trigger. So like and it's in, not an act. Uh, wait, it's not a special or action, so it can go through the emperor. Yeah, that's true. That's pretty cool. Um, so like traditionally, uh, the heavy fire decks, they've they the ones that have done well have had like a, a boss monster that they can efficiently search for with like or with an ex bursting <laughs> backup, right? Lan is that as well because the rain from Opus One yeah, yeah. exists, right? To who she's full cost back up. She searches for Alan when she enters the field or when she ex bursts, and then also yeah. you give this one an extra one thousand power. So that yeah, like this Alan in in that kind of deck, he's he's like a secret ten k. 
Yeah, uh, I mean, like in a modifier list. Yeah, like with, he, uh, LeBron. Think, yeah. But, um, no, no, not with LeBron. With LeBron, he's 10. With, with LeBron, he's 11, right? No, with LeBron, he's 10. Well, well, no, no. R- if, range, just with this. Just with oh, this, because right. she also has the ability fire generic doll, choose one card named Lon, it gains 1,000 power, right? So he's getting plus 1k just from her being in play, and then having her sit there. It's like a pseudo. up to 10k it's as like well. Because yeah. we, we spoke about it last week when we were discussing the Guardians mm-hmm. list. How um, <clears throat> how just that, those... Uh, the threat. The, the, like, just being able to threaten the mm-hmm. buff is as good as basically having the buff most yeah. of the time. Right? Oh, most of the time, yeah. Most of the time. And, um, and, and if you're going wind, like we're going to take, you can activate your backups. That's true. A lot of time, then you can do that. Because this ability for Ray is not actually... Efficient. It's not efficient, say. but the threat of it is yeah, important. I think. But it's, but it's especially when you have a card like Lan who cares about his own power as much mm, as he does. He cares a lot about his own power. Because, like, if you're if you're um, he's he's good offensively and defensively. Mm. Your opponents can't attack into this Lan if you're able to protect him. Yeah. Like and then. But like, oh, but but, but, but uh, so, but even if he if they attack into him and they're bigger, so to say, they can just let the attack go through, and then on the attack they can attack him. Deal damage to your mm. opponent and then just kill that yeah, board no, that's true. with the power boost or something. Yeah, well, I mean, or you can just block and then kill the thing that he blocks, and then do it. And again. then kill something else. It has to survive, though, right? Uh, Lan? No, Lan doesn't have to survive. Yeah, for it's will go work. off regardless. Yeah, okay. he can he can die and then still take mm-hmm. something with him. That's that's one of the one of the powerful things about him. We should also probably talk about um, the new rain as well. Think about him in the context of playing that as well. So. Uh, um, yeah, so that opens up a lot of like three different fire options, right? Because this rain searches for either Zapt, Freet, or Babblies, mm-hmm. right? Are those the only um, yeah, monsters? Yeah, um, I believe so. Yeah, yeah, okay. Okay. yeah. So that means I don't know. I really, I, I, I I'd be very interested in um, in seeing what brews people come up with that might run this. This rain within... is actually like such a good, efficient card. Yeah. It's, it's just such a shame that she's called rain. Want to run the other rain? Yeah, the other run. yeah. Because because having a consistent backup. <laughs> well, is and much in, more reliable. in Woff as an archetype, right? Like there are the the Woff payoff cards now become a lot easier to play. Like there's that what was that terrible two cost fire card? It's not terrible. That, it's that amazing. you raved about it's back amazing. in Opus <laughs> and, two I, or and three. I still play her. It's, she's amazing. Uh, what's what's she play. called? She's Hune, she's, right? She, she's Hune. So now you can actually have five or more category off characters. No, you can still do. No, no, you can now, but without having to jump no, no, through hoops and could, play terrible you cards. Could still back then. No, you could. There was still a lot. You had to play a lot of like jank. Like, but, but now you can play like an ice fire list that runs Sid Woff, Babblies, the um this new rain and like and Hune, and you can. Build a an army. Warrior. That's not. That's that's. And you, and that's then, not consistent. Like if Chris right? was here, he'd go, "Oh, make a chocolate." Oh, okay. I don't yeah, know why sure. that's my Chris voice. <laughs> it's not. That's not what Chris sounds that's like at all. No. <laughs> anyway. No. Um, um, yeah. Well, um, what are your thoughts, Francis? Do we think um, Wolf might be an archetype now? I mean, like, uh, like the the lawn and rain and like the payoff. I, I like the rain. back of rain. Um, I would like the forward rain more oh, if yeah. she didn't have the same name. I I yeah. I'm, I'm t- I totally agree with that. But also okay. having more uh, wolf monsters would be nice. Pale mm. Tomberry, please. <laughs> Chibi Bella for. Yes, oh, that would yes, be awesome. Yeah, Chibi Bella for is cool. Because you know, there's a whole actually like some of that. There's a whole uh, line of Bella for like chi- like little Bella. Yeah, they do that for most of them, right? Like, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Level up Pokemon Shiba, style Yuki, things. Ramu. Yeah, there's I mean, so many of them. Yeah. It's like an evolution. Like, It'd be cool if they put like the middle ones in as well. I don't. I don't think. I don't think that they'd do that. The, 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 the only the only problem I see is that there's so many Final Fantasy characters and so little space uh, in each set. Yeah. 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 And, and yeah. so that's why they kind of like like these, this Ramu and Shiva and Ifrit, <laughs> They look very cool. Like I wish I wish they were their own summons, so to say. Oh, they'll, they'll do those eventually. I I I, get I, I, I doubt really it. Summoned in game though, but that's why. Oh, uh, true. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I, I suppose it would make less sense for them to be. The, the summons in those games are actually the characters from older games, so like Warrior of Light and Sephiroth. Wouldn't it be cool if we got? It, it would be super thing. weird, but like <laughs> if we got another set that focuses on Woff, if we got a bunch of monsters that are summons, kind of like Zaps. Babylon, but mm-hmm. like you know, an Ifrit that's a monster, mm-hmm. and a Shiva that's a monster, and then we got like a, 
a cloud that's a summon or a warrior like that that's a summon. Amazing. Wouldn't that be awesome? Because they've got all these cards That'd that cool. search for them, <coughs> that could search for them, like yeah. search for a. Uh, um, What's uh, well, what, what summon? Mean? I mean, the summons don't have jobs, do they? Oh, it's card name. Never mind. Just kidding. Yeah. Yeah. yeah well, like it. any any card yeah, that says search for a card name warrior blade or a card yeah, name yeah. cloud. But, but then, but then if it thinks, yeah, but if it says what, it, what if cloud is a summon too? Then any card that can search yeah, it would also mean you could discard the summon the cloud S. for S's. That that's would be so, so awesome. That's so stupid. I don't. I don't <laughs> well, I mean, they'd, they'd balance it, right? They'd, they wouldn't make them like absurd, yeah. but it would be it would be cool design space that I think is open for them to explore. And they, they probably don't need to do it anytime soon. Yeah. But maybe in like three or four sets when there hasn't been much WAF stuff, they go, "All right, this this set's like <coughs> WAF heroic support." We've got a, a cycle of summons, but these summons are characters that you're already playing. I mean, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. and I have a question. Can I wouldn't you, be can you, you can you can play a summon like I could play a summon cloud if I had a cloud in play, couldn't I? So summon because you can that, that mean because you can play you can play a um, a Opus One Water Moogle summon if you have a a Opus was Opus Four or, or Five uh, Wind Moogle in play, right? Yeah, but that one is. Stand, uh, standard. Uh, is he? He's not a standard unit. He's not a standard, but he's a common card, right? Or no? He's not. A, he's not yeah, a common, so, um, common soldier. The summons don't enter the field, so it wouldn't contradict. Yeah. So you can play dark summons while you have a light card in play. Yeah. And it would... Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's awesome, right? So you could. Yeah. That that would be uh that would be a, a really interesting way to but you could, like they'd have to be careful which characters they selected because if you it, selected characters that have printings already with really powerful <laughs> efficient special abilities mm. you wouldn't want to put them on summons because that that takes away from the cost of running additional copies of of those characters that's true and then the, the summons that they want to add is cloud and like lightning well right. maybe and then those ones are would, would those be too good? strong <laughs> right would it be too strong i don't know like all of the clouds with special abilities so <laughs> far they all have like dollars a cost you need a good cloud. and you need a good cloud it's a long time we have uh, we have like two good clouds, oh, but well, that's the thing. They're good clouds. They're not like crazy bananas. Like no, yeah. we have good card clouds. It's just the support around it is not enough. I reckon. Um, no, no. I, I think like category seven is still a good archetype. There hasn't been just, a new cards since Opus. We, well, there hasn't really needed to be. I mean, it hasn't needed to be every like. Yeah. I, I would I, like. I'm I am the biggest be. seven advocate. I would love for there to be more stuff, <laughs> but I don't like. Like that, that Opus Four Cloud is still very strong. No, it is strong, but like and, the, very, the very fact that it's not and we've got that Phoenix can bring it play. back now. That's just because people want to play with the new stuff, and the no, new stuff it's... excludes um, uh, xenophobic archetypes like Seven. Like Seven wants you to play. Like you have to play a lot of Category Seven characters <laughs> to get the payoffs for them. They take up so much space in the average deck. Whereas when people yeah, are buying, that... like when when play, players are are shifting their strategies towards new stuff. That's like, all right, we'll play with this. You just don't have room for no, but but stuff. but but the reason why they don't play is because the actual save on archetype is not as strong as, as it was. <coughs> I don't know that it isn't. I mean, have you played it recently? How do you know? I have. have you seen anyone playing it recently? How do yeah. you know? I play. I play a lot of opus. <laughs> I play. I played a lot of opus. It, it didn't. It like it loses to a lot of the top decks. But anyways, um, yeah. So this Moogle is not actually a uh, common unit like that. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, so, but like, I think yeah. we talked about that when we spoiled it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so that uh, Lan Lan is a very cool character. I, uh, I'm, 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 I'm actually I'm, I'm actually thinking like how much play you would see at Worlds coming out this weekend. Oh, mm -hmm. sorry, not this weekend. Next weekend. Because he's he's one of the more expensive cards in in Opus yes. Seven, right? Um, I mean, uh, at the it, moment, it, it depends at the time where you're of recording. At. It depends where you look. Because in Japan, he is. Hmm. Um, but Japan is expensive. Yeah, in, in the US and stuff, he's like a general, like okay. uh, as as a normal legend is. I think Japan is hyping it up, and I I, I, I can see why. It just could be their meta. I'm not sure. I'm I'm, I'm not. I think, super I think worlds will decide if fire is finally good or not. We just have to wait till then. Fire is and has always been at least good. <laughs> it's not. It's not bad to play fire. I believe you. It's, it's, I like fire. It's, it's, just, it's a it's a good element. Fire. It just there's. Like, a lot of the time, the the strongest cards in Fire are either just the Legend in the set, or, like, they're, they're just quality of life improvement cards. Like, when we got Zell last set, oh, things got so much easier. 
Oh, I mean, yeah, I like so. That was nice. Mm. Like when we we didn't, we didn't think we ever released our um our set reviews for Opus. No, it's still sitting um, on the six, computer. right? No. But like I, I had a I had a fairly <laughs> heated discussion with with the guys about how like Zell was going to be like my five card like five point card for the set. <laughs> no one believed me. Oh, like I was right about I still, Zell. I, 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 I might have been you. wrong about Bomb and Opus. Opus, <laughs> what was it, three or four? Opus four. Opus yeah, Opus four. four. But I was right about Zell. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I still have contention about uh, like yeah, like he, he's he's a must put. Yeah, I, I guess you. We can give him a five. Um. Anyways, uh, do you guys uh, want to go into the MCD? I suppose we could. We could shift to talk about the MCD. Are you cool with that, Genesis? Well, let's take yeah, a look. See, no, we're good. Yeah, we can move. Okay, cool. I got. We're just so zooming this, along um, today. So, ah, that's all good. So this MCD, right? Who's uh, uh, who, who can contributed this one? Kevin made it. Um, oh, this is one Kevin. He's not. He's not CD. He's he's OG. No, no, no. Kevin made it based on the suggestion. Oh, somebody. Was, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. So. Did we take in numerous suggestions? Well, oh uh, no, we, we was this we one workshop or what have you? No, no, no. Um, I, I, just, I pretty much just told Kevin, hey, just go through that post and just choose what that you like. <laughs> okay. Um, and so uh, we don't have anyone to attribute this one to. Uh, uh his, his name is Rainer Ve- Venezuela, Zuela or something. Venezuela. Yeah, the, yeah. What Genesis said. Okay. Um, he's been, um, he's <laughs> been an uh, avid. <laughs> Uh, he's been an uh, he's been an avid contributor to the community. He loves. Okay, cool. He, he posts uh, on the Facebook page and stuff. Uh, he he like likes and comments on a lot of things. All right. Well, a hi. Lot, a lot of content and we're talking um, about you. Yeah. So this is his and card. So, so we got golden chocobo. Um, ah. Genesis, do you want to tell us about the card? Hold on. Oh, it's a seven card. I as, love as, this. As soon as I heard my name, it cut out for a second. I'm sorry. What happened? Can you uh, see the um, the card on the stream? Yeah. Yeah, I can I can see the card right here. Yeah. So um, so tell us uh, what does the card do? Oh yeah. So it's a three cost golden chocobo forward, um, category seven. For each job chocobo or card named chocobo you control, golden chocobo gains one thousand power. Special ability stampede costs special plus four colorless. Until the end of turn, all the job chocobo and card named chocobo you control gain two thousand power. Haste, brave, and first strike. Oh, I love this thing. This thing's awesome. This is like the boss monster that the Chocobo deck has been wanting for ages. Oh, I think my, my only issue with it is the price. I think it could be cheaper, maybe, but I like the card. Overall. I think uh, the, I think the, three is the, probably as much as it can what? be. The price of what? The price of the card or the price of the, the special S- ability? The special the ability. Oh, all right, right. Yeah, yes. that's, that's that's six cost for the special. Does it give it gives itself haste and all of its stats? It as gives well, it right? so, yeah, because it is a job Chocobo. Uh, mm-hmm. And you no, can no, find no. this if, off of like Fat Chocobo as well, right? You could, you yeah. could. But like, my thing is that if you want to compare this to uh, Illua's S, Illua is minus 2k, which is better than plus 2k to mm-hmm. your forward. Um, mm-hmm. And it gives haste to all, all of their forwards. So the only the only contention is the Brave and First Strike. And does that, does well, that, does that constitute... Chocobos are also a, like... Does that a, constitute a Brave and mm-hmm. First Strike thing? Well, remember, it's getting all of your Chocobos, these keywords... Specifically, it's giving them first strike. Chocobos are, are cards that want to be in parties, so giving them all first strike is actually pretty relevant. I mean, like when you're doing this, you're probably just going to attack one one at a time, right? Maybe, but Not it really depends on the board. Yeah, um, and chocobos are a very good. spammable job, right? You can have quite a few chocobos mm-hmm. out. Like it's it's easy to build a board like <laughs> through chocobo knight, and, through fat chocobo, and, through yeah, that's right. Um, like there, you can there have so many of them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, so this, realistically, this thing's probably going to be like 10k most of the time. Uh, <clears throat> from what though? Just like from other chocobos, right? Because it's yeah, for job chocobo and card yeah. named chocobo. It does it. So it, it also gets the buff oh, yeah. from fat chocobo. So it's already 6K. like it's mm-hmm. it's basic basically just a 6k, and then you just need a couple other ones out there. But it's not a standing unit, so it kind of, it doesn't get buff from arc. And obviously, you gotta have multiple. Of them. But it gets buff from Maria. Which Everything you, gets buff. From yeah, Maria. like Maria. so. I don't. I, I think this is cool. I think I'm. I'm. I'm a, I'm a big fan of this card, and it's not just because it's a seventh card. It's yeah. number two. Yeah, uh, it's really, this is this is yeah. inspired design. Is I like it. I just wish the the special was cost three personally, because I don't know. I like three more. Four just seems really expensive. 
I think uh, I think it could even get away with S plus two. I yeah, I, it could honestly. I think it's it's, it's on a unique is a lot. Mm. It so is especially since you can only have three of this in your deck. You can, only get yeah, you can once again. You can search for it as well with Izana. You can search for it. Like he, you can also is, search for Vincent. That's, that's true. But this is, it doesn't have, like, uh, unlike Vincent, it doesn't have a doll. Right? So, yeah. like, this is something you, you, you like, in one turn, this this can happen. This, you can play this <laughs> and asset with, I think, relative so, success, like, relative six, ease. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. You need to so have that's like, an 11 CP to play it on this turn and do everything. Yeah, you need to have... Mm. Four cards in hand and at least like three CP to play this as well. You just chain into them, don't you? It's a wind deck. Just you all the stuff, play. all just the play. resources. <laughs> you pop your zoo in between. Uh, okay, sure. sure. <laughs> Remember, wind decks have infinite CP now because of zoo. This is true. Like, this is true. <laughs> I I think the last the last time I watched somebody play mono wind, they they generated like fifteen CP in one turn. Just <laughs> yeah, they can. But just, and they had like three cards in hand. <laughs> Obtuse. Yeah, and then they had TP left over. Right? Yeah, it's crazy. Uh, that's crazy. They just got like birds, but uh, all these things that activate. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah, but these chocobos don't. Uh, the, other than probably five drop birds, they probably don't play any other <laughs> activators. I mean, I like it. I like it cheaper just because chocobos could use that push if mm. you really want to make them that much better. Yeah, and I uh, really. It's not like chocobos are like super super good, so they don't need something good, you know? It's like yeah, mm, that's true. <laughs> And I uh, I really liked that um, <coughs> and the new heroes starter deck. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. They gave Fat Chocobo uh, three copies to any new player. Yeah, it's a super easy deck. Oh, yeah. so, so that's a, a cool easy deck to, yeah, to make now. For for new players, they can just take all the common and rare Chocobos, pick up the hero starter deck, mm -hmm. put it in your stole. They can they can put it the Fat Chocobo. Chocobo is also in a lot of just regular starter decks as well, like because it's a same yeah. unit. I think mm -hmm. a lot of the wind starters. Just happen to have like the haste chocobo and things yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean the Far Pit Seven deck had the had the cloud chocobo. Mm -hmm. Well, that well that'll be. No, no, it didn't. No, no, no. Um, because that was that's uh, Earth Fire. Fire. Yeah. No, um, uh, one of the decks had the cloud chocobo in it. I, I'm sure. I think it might have been the. The FF10 deck? Maybe, I don't know. No, the FF10 deck didn't, but I feel like the Wait, Type Zero the deck has a chocobo in it. Maybe. maybe yeah. <coughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, such a cool deck. We had so many good um, uh, suggestions from uh, from the Facebook page, and uh, this is this is one of the one of the cooler ones. Uh, one of the ones that doesn't seem too overpowered because I think Kevin really really cares about that. Well, yeah, it's important yeah. that we're we're trying to propose interesting, plausible cards. We're not trying to make overpowered pieces of pieces yeah. Of but the first overpowered card that we that we presented I, was Kevin's card, and that was Bahamut Primal. I, 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 I stand by his design of that. I don't think it was overpowered. It's very, I think uh, no, it might have been slightly, uh, like, there, there might have been a, a little bit of, because like, we when we discussed it, we we discussed what, what wording we think probably ought to have had. Cause there, there's, yeah, there's, yeah, there's but a, like... Was, I think there was a niche example that hadn't been thought of when Kevin was putting it together, mm. but, but, yeah. but, but... But now when you compare it to, like, Sin... And then it's like when you look, go look back at the Bahamut Primal that we made. It's fine. He's fine. No, it's oh super OP. God. It's nuts. It's <laughs> super. Look, it's, it's, Genesis. Genesis. Do you remember the Bahamut Primal? Or do you want to bring it up? Yes. Oh. I was. That was like Jesus. A whole, a whole <laughs> bunch of. We got a whole bunch of messages um, when we posted it up on the page. They were like, "Is this real?" Somebody, and it's like, so no. many people thought it was real. Because like, like oh, it even oh, said on the thing. Like, yeah. I thought it was like. No, and it, it was. It was like. The dark cards have already been spoiled. <laughs> that can't be real. That anyway. was that's, that's the trouble when we were yeah because we, we we released it in the middle of spoiler season. Yeah, we do that a lot. It's uh, like, and then I didn't our, even read. Our... I just I saw the card and I just shared it. I was like, yo, <laughs> our first... I don't want the caption anymore. <laughs> our, our first one uh, was that Noctis, Noctis that you you designed and and Kageyama <laughs> um, tweeted about it, right? Oh, because yeah, because I tweeted straight directly at him and it was like novel at the time because no mm. one. Like was tweeting at him because well, stuff. But then, I, time, but then I kept on tweeting him other Mockbot community times, but he doesn't reply anymore. So I was like, oh, he, he doesn't funny. care anymore. Uh, well, man, Senpai doesn't notice I, I would us like anymore. To, I, I'd like to think that, that the Noctis was was just that good. Oh yeah. Then they then they put out an Earth, Earth not like the the opposite of of, of what your uh, your Noctis would have been like. Ah, uh, I mean, it's still <laughs> yes worst. Yeah, I, I was yeah. I was happy that it was like. The same cost in the experts. Yeah, he's oh, cool. Okay. 
Even though the express for not this doesn't mean next to nothing. Anyways, um, so <laughs> so don't forget to uh, send us your mock to me. Yeah, yeah, we're always um, we're always real happy. To Jared get has already put in the plug beforehand. Yeah, so just yeah. In, in case you, I've only just started listening. Uh, send them to mockplotgaming at gmail.com or through to the Facebook page or on Any the social Discord media, server. Just Basically, just, just, just throw ideas at us. We'll pick the ones we yeah. like and, and mock, up, mock them up like this one. And then uh, this one will probably go up on the Facebook page yeah. later today, maybe tomorrow. No, 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 no. Not today, okay. No, I mean like... Some point in the future. I like to, I, I, I like to give people... To actually listen to the podcast, the first look at these before I yeah, no, share had, on they've Facebook. Had that now. <laughs> no, 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 no. Everyone has the luxury of listening to this live. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, maybe they should just listen to us. <laughs> um, <Same. laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah. So now, I mean, like, it's just before, like, like I said, world is coming up. Mm-hmm. And when is Worlds? Not this weekend, the following weekend. Following weekend, twenty fifth. So, so, yeah, twenty fifth. Yeah. Twenty fifth. Okay, and <laughs> I presume that'll be up on the on the. It'll be it'll, it'll be on the Square Enix. Yeah, yeah, it'll be it'll Twitch. be everywhere. It'll be everywhere. That'll be fun and to but watch. The, but they have thirty three participants, which is thirty three. Yeah, that's not very many. Really weird. Oh no no no! It's really that's awkward. Much more than last year. <laughs> was it? Many much more. Than last How many year. players were last year? Uh, 16. Yeah. 16. Wow, really? Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um, well, that's good. That's that, that's more than double. Oh, no. I, was, uh, I, wasn't, I wasn't talking about the actual numbers per se. Oh, because it's an odd number? Yeah, yeah. And I thought that was a little bit Is odd. It, I wonder if it's because there Not, weren't enough um, qualified no, regionals. No, I think it was because they decided the China to have a world's competitor. Right? Oh, and they ended and them then late? The, but the China's World Competitor was Opus 2 format, because they still haven't got Opus 3 Chinese cards. That's weird. Yeah, and so the Ooh. person who won that was uh, Josh G, and he's a friend of Toby Henriet, which was last year's uh, World right. Champion. Uh-huh. Um, uh, yeah, so I guess he kind of just, because like, he plays in the card method, and he just went to China just to compete in there, and he, he, he won. <clears throat> Like time traveled back to Opus Two. Yeah, yeah. Took the best deck from there. Yeah. yeah. What, yeah what, what did he play? <laughs> no, he played. No, no. He um, uh, he played what the best deck. What I was playing back in Opus One. Uh huh. Oh, what the best deck what was? Win? No, no. The best deck back then was Ice Earth. I disagree with that. Yeah. But okay. I highly disagree. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think I think you two might be alone in your, no, your okay, assessment. But okay. okay. But okay. hey, he won. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now there's 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 so many things you can do with Ice Earth uh, with the little oh, small no, I, I don't disagree. Um, <clears throat> but yeah. Anyways, so uh, yeah. Um, so it's coming up, and I I've got I've got a couple of decks that I want to share with you guys. Um, all, all of these things are kind of public. You guys can see them. Um, except for this are one. Are they on the industry? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's on the stream. But I wanted to show you one secret. Tifa comeback. This is the secret deck that you're not showing anyone. Oh, it's because <laughs> it's because right. It's because it has like a hundred cards. Okay, if, right, right. If you, if you actually... want, if you want, I can show you guys. No, no, it's fine. I, it's fine. I can we show we you can guys. wait. No, we can save no, that for like next week. No, you know what? No, I'll, I'll show you. You're you're. <laughs> yeah, it's it's fine. I'll, yeah. I'll show you guys. All right, everyone. This is this is secret Murad deck tech. No, okay. This is this is. You get like, to look at his his process before he. He publishes the deck. Before, before I cut everything. This is what it looks like. Look at look at the masterpiece. I can't see it. It's got 98 forwards, 27 summons, <laughs> 62 backups. That's one of Light Onion Knight in there. Oh, yeah, because I'm not going to put more than one. <laughs> and if, if I did choose one, it's also got uh, Three of Cloud. <laughs> It's got what Zemus. What is this nonsense? I mean, no, because, um, okay, the way that I built it. There's a Death Gaze in there. Uh, yes, it is. It is. <laughs> yes. Um, death Gaze. Yes. <laughs> so it's a fire with mm-hmm, deck, right? Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so so this is my uh, 12 monsters as well. So so, so this is my process, right? <laughs> I w- w- Throw when everything I, at the wall and then scrape them off bit by bit. Yes, yes. I can, so, I can appreciate that. No, no, so that basically what happens, I, 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 I choose a theme, and this theme is Tifa. Okay, I can see you've added a whole bunch of cards that are not Tifa. Um, uh, and and so I, I wanted to kind of focus uh, a little bit on the five drop Tifa because mm-hmm. I feel like uh, she's not she's not the best card in the world, but you know she's a cool card. Uh, she she, she uh, she's a cool card. So uh, I wanted to kind of focus on her. So I was like, okay, 
My team for deck is always going to be Fire Wind. It's mm-hmm. also going to be focusing on unblockables. And that's why Death Gaze is in there. Because he's an unblockable. Um, and also, like, he kills, like, Star Civil and stuff. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Um, and it has Zemus for the unblockable thing. But it also has got Cloud. And it's also got, like, Funny Knight. Anyways. Th- this is this is all Babel. And then I just... Uh, I-, I go through all the Fire Wind cards. I add them all. Like... Every card that is remotely helpful or remotely will help, I just put them in, and then I go at every section. I just cut it down, cut mm-hmm. it down, shave, 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 until I get a 50 card. I bet you're going to shave out all the Tifas. No, 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 no. <laughs> Tifas, Tifas have to stay there. Uh-huh. Tifas, have, right, okay. Tifas and Yuffies have to stay there. Uh-huh. Just play Commander. <laughs> just play Commander, yeah. It's like 100 card, singleton. I- <laughs> it's only a matter of time. We're, we're getting to the point now where... The game could probably even support Highlander decks. And um, still have, like, special that. ability capable characters. <laughs> oh, you're looking at Street now? Sorry about that, Genesis. I'll g- yeah, um, yeah. I can't give you the link for that, but I'll give you a link for the Hopeless Orphans that we're talking about. Um, <laughs> oh, this is, this is the then, deck you... And then the, the other one that we can talk about after that. Let's, let's talk about Hopeless Orphans, because okay. you alluded to it earlier. Okay, so Hopeless Orphans, right... It's all about people. Uh, all right, right, right. Before you What's before that? you explain it, I okay. want to take some guesses. All right, is it a so it's called okay. Hopeless Orphans? Yes. All right. So is it a wind deck that has all the cards that reference hope without playing <coughs> any hopes? No. Okay. Well, that, that sounds like a great deck idea. <laughs> Keep it coming. Uh, all right. Is it um, <laughs> so it's just all of the all of the characters with no parents? That's the obvious guess. I mean, kind of, kind of. Or is it all of the parents with no kids? Uh, no, no, wait, ha- wait, but there's no orphans then. Parents with no kids is not a... Well, I mean, if you approach it as this is the graveyard. Wow. <laughs> this is going to tackle us at it. Genesis, uh, unless, unless you've already seen it, do you want to get, get a guess? Based on the Hold name. on, I'm not going to see what we're on, sorry. <laughs> Which one are we talking about? <laughs> no, no, no. Why, uh, why is, why is Mirai's uh, deck called no, okay, Hopeless so, Orphans? Yeah, so, so my deck is called Hopeless Orphans. Um, and uh, okay. Jar- Jared wanted to guess before looking at the deck. About what, oh, what, what it, it actually is? is, yeah. Hopeless orphans. Yeah. It's it has um hope in the deck. Yes. See, oh I, wait, sorry. My guess was it didn't have hope in the deck. <laughs> <laughs> it has hope in the deck, but he's an orphan. None of his parents, right? He he is he an orphan in? He, is, he, his, okay, so okay. spoilers. His mother dies. Yeah. Okay. Well, but, that happens. That happens in the first time. But does he also lose his dad? Um, I never. Oh no. I don't. I, mean, I don't okay, know what happens that, to that was, all okay, of you. That was the whole character arc of the hope being a little. He's, he, he's the, angry. Okay. At, 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 <laughs> no, okay. Wait. No. Let, 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 just let me have my little rant. Little bleep. It, the, this this whole thing about or, about hope being a little beat, right? Um, being like, oh no. Um, the reason why my mom died was because she tried to save people because at the same time, Nora, which is a rebel group that's led by Snow, couldn't help. Um, he spends the first half of the game just getting mad at Snow, right? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's that's getting mad and trying to kill Snow. Half. At, <laughs> yeah, probably longer. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I am no great Final Fantasy thirteen. And then, and, then, and then, like Lightning was like, "Okay, I'll give you this knife. Go kill Snow." <laughs> this is basically, <laughs> this knife that my sister gave oh, me. Oh, the emotional <laughs> maturity of a of a Final Fantasy thirteen character. Uh, he's such a, he's, he's such a hopeless. Eh? Like 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 he and he's called hopeless. Hope. Yeah, exactly. Um, but anyway, anyway, let's let's. He grew up. No, no, wait. So he grew up in the bub and the FF thirteen too, mm-hmm. right? We don't get to see his dad anymore because what happened was that um, they go to his dad's mm-hmm. apartment, yeah, and then they leave him, and like it, like does it blow up? I'm not sure if it blows up, but something happens to the area. And but after thirteen two, they never show his dad, so we presume that his dad died after they left his so apartment. Wait, is, is his dad never on screen? No, he was on screen. He he, he like housed them. He housed them for a little <clears throat> bit. I think I remember this. God, it's, it's been. I, I, son. I haven't played 13, I think, since yeah, it came exactly. out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's, he's like that. Huh? I haven't played 13 since it came out. <laughs> mm. that was, um, it left a bit of a bad taste. Anyways, in anyways, um, let's just let's just go back to actually talking about... Okay, so the deck is Firewind. All right, Firewind. Okay. Oh, so it's, so it's Hope with um, with Yuri's parents? Yeah, okay, so... Oh, hope with other, <laughs> yes. other characters with <laughs> parents? Okay, okay, okay. So, so, so the thing is, right... Um, uh, actually, uh, but before we go... You're I'm, missing I wanna, some, some parents. Uh, uh, I, I, I wanted to show you Hope's father, which is really, really useless. 
I'm okay. sure he's not that Same. useless. He's so, oh, he's so, so bad. Bartholomew. Okay. Bartholomew is bad because you need to have hope and him in your hand for him to actually have any value. Mm-hmm. And even the value that he generates is not even that much. But right? hope is part of a, like, a chain, right? Like, there's his um, his mother, Nora, right? Who can yeah. search Yeah, him. she searches him. Yeah. So, like, it's not entirely... Like I tried impossible. Him. I tried him with Nora in the deck. And did you also play like the other thirteen searches? Like you, if you played uh, it was, Ice Wind, it was, it was in Fire Wind. Oh right, yeah. yeah. But I think I think in Ice Wind, by the way, you might be because you've got Moth thirteen too as well. Okay, okay, that's fine. But then like, it's like you've got redundancy there. But the the payoff isn't worth it. Oh yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying that it's worth it. I'm just saying that you can do and it. And then and then and then like and then, then you, so the only hope that cares about him being on the field, mm-hmm. right? Um. You know, you can play it off of him, but then he he breaks himself for this little, like, bad effect, giving a forward uh, plus guess, one has yeah. power and activating it. And it's like, but you want him on the field for the other hope. Anyways, so um, the hope that I'm playing um, is uh, the Open 7 hope. The new one. Uh, how come it's not showing? Be a good boy show. Yeah, there you go. Oh, um, the chibi hope. Yeah, that chibi hope. So if you control <laughs> job father or job mother, uh, hope gains plus two power and mm-hmm. hope cannot be chosen by your opponent's ability. Okay. Yeah. And um, your your mothers and fathers are Latov and Illyria. <laughs> so do you have to have a mother and a father? You have to have both. Yes, right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's Illyria do? I don't. Illyria searches for Yuri or Chinlinkta. Okay. And she's a mother. And then I've got a one of Nora. Just so, and you've got all of the Chilinka and and mm. Yuri support stuff, right? Like you've got Alha, Anna Halem, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Latov does something, right? With, with uh. He brings a Yuri Chilinka from the break zone to the field. Oh, he puts them into into play. Yeah, he puts them into play. Oh, I yes. thought he just put them into your hand. Oh, that's much better. Yeah, I mean, like the, the, the ex. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't ex. ex. No. No, that that'll be an OP oh, ex. Oh, so you could even like, <laughs> that was super. OP. You can like discard one of them to play Meath. Oh, you have you discard Chilinka. No, you can't discard Chilinka. Oh, you discard Chilinka off of your Meath to go find a different three drop, say Hope, right? Mm. Then you play your your Latov, get your Chilinka back. I mean, I mean, you can discard. I just, I, I, I usually discard my Yuri to find like a Zell mm-hmm. or a Len, and then I, um, and then I play Lato <coughs> to bring back Yuri because Yuri is more value than Chilinka. And but, but even, even getting a Chilinka is, is enough value. So this deck um, has got three of my favorite summon in it, and Fallacious Wanderer. What does he do? Yeah. So, um, I'll talk about my little. Uh, I, I guess, I guess I'll, I'll start with the backups, right? Three Alhnab because he combos great with Yuri and Chilinka. Mm-hmm. Um, two Archer because Minuel destroys me. Um, <laughs> I know this feeling so well. <laughs> um, two yeah. Meat because Meat. Okay, so so okay, so uh, there was a little conversation that me and Kevin had. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, and that you know how all the elements are getting their own like four drop searchers. Yeah, no, no, I was part of this conversation. Were you? Yes, I was complaining that everyone else just gets. Search oh no! For, this, is, this is a separate conversation. Okay. Separate, it was, it was, we had it on Wednesday, um, <laughs> and then and then he was like, uh, "I don't think Fire is ever going to get a four drop searcher." And I was like, "Oh, why?" I mean, like you know, uh, I guess uh, pattern dictates that yeah. we will, right? And then he's like, "He's like, no, but like Final Fantasy always screws up with the pattern." And then I was like, "Oh, wait, wait, no, you're right." Like with Maria. Well, also, right? and so and so, I think that me, like Maria and Win for the power booster. Meat is better, um, is a better searcher than all those other four drop random searchers, mm-hmm. right? And I don't think Fire is gonna get their own four drop searcher. I, I agree because, but for another reason, okay. um, Fire searches traditionally all, like will cost four, mm-hmm. right? We've got um, Rain, like we Rain. already discussed, um, Mont Blanc, Zangan, mm-hmm. uh, and now most, more recently Zaz. And I think Meath is a four cost searcher. He is, yes. right? Like yeah, yeah. so. But, but he's all so much fires, more wider. Fires, he's such such more... fires searches are all more specific. Well, Meath, Meath opens up to more options because it can find non-fire cards, right? But it still <laughs> requires you put in more effort. Mm. So all of all of fires searches are just like they're more specific or more difficult, but they provide you with a just a little bit more out mm. out of them. Like mm. if we look at um, Zangan um, and Rain and. I mean, to a lesser extent, Mont Blanc, the one that searches for Marsh, they all also continue doing something once you've played them. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Genesis, what do you think about me? Um, so, our little meme in my community, the yeah. meme was, uh, Fire finally gets a searcher, so yeah. we can search for with other elements. 
I mean, like, it's true, though. Like, that's that's how versatile he is. Well, Fire also wants to have things in that break zone. So, Meath. I looked at I looked at Meath, and I was like, oh, look, another El Cid searcher. I love it. Look, Meath sets up my phoenixes. That's that's all I need from um, it. You said Zangan. I'm so excited about um, Zangan giving an Earth Four taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would be so good. No, no, I because um, it, don't I, you know oh, the, 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 the new Tifa is a four jump Earth Tifa, Why and that means that she, she's gonna get wind. she's gonna get haste. Been fire wind. Uh, that would have been amazing. That would have been I'm, I'm ready fun. for that. Yeah, well, man. Tifa makes sense as Earth. I'm yeah, exactly. She's, she's, she's a she, well, she's a martial artist, and she's a martial artist, right? Yeah, she's, she's, she's she's specifically me, not martial a martial artist. Martial artist. Yeah, specifically not a martial artist. No, okay, no. Excuse me. She's a girl. Excuse me. No, but oh, it doesn't yeah, mean she can't be a mom. Yeah, isn't it's, isn't it's a um, meme? It's a meme. It's a meme on Facebook. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't say this thing. Anyway. <laughs> um, anyway, well, let's get back then, to discussing your hopeless orphans. And then uh, I've got uh, one scholar because scholar is generally it's like a breakable backup. And it's a good one. Yeah. Um, you got two Illyria. Um, and the third mother is with the Nora. <laughs> if if you're not running hope, then you just run three Illyria. Um, and then you got three Rain because I've got the four drop mm-hmm. one in this, and it combos well with Zoo as well, and um. Uh, you're like majority fire, like, just barely, I guess. But you, well, you usually get it off. Yuri, then, Yuri is both. Yeah, and then and then you got uh, Latov. Um, I didn't realize you brought them back to play. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Um. The the reason why he's three and why the reason why I've got three mothers was to make sure I always get like mother and father in the back back mm-hmm. row so that hope is better, right? Um. And in this deck, you want to have three fire backups and two wind backups. Mm-hmm. The reason is because then Yuri. Is able to double all the fire backups to do something, mm-hmm. and then Al 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 can still do ping damage yeah. whenever he needs to. And then you've also got Al-Hanalem. Lan in there as well, so you want triple True. fire on yeah, your exactly. Yeah, exactly. That too, especially right? with your zoos. It, it just this it, is it, this is what we were talking it, about earlier. Yeah, it just makes sense. Like I was like I, I was totally for the idea of like cutting the archers just to make more like fire backups. Mm-hmm. But the thing is, you, you can't. Minwu is such a You can't freaking, afford to lose to Minwu. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, like it's, it's almost it's almost like an auto lose to Minwu. Yeah. Uh, almost. I, like, this deck, this deck doesn't auto lose to it because you've still got, <laughs> like you can transition away from your ping damage towards like just your big beef sticks. Like, in like Lan, Lan, and, Mary, I guess. Uh, yeah, and with Phoenix, you can actually deal with uh, oh, like, yeah. Phoenix and, and Diablos. Diablos, both. yeah. Deal with their board so in a way that if you're if you're playing Firewind, you have to play the two best summons in the game, which is Phoenix and Diablos, um, and they just do like so much work. Obviously, mm-hmm. Diablos just sets up all the plays um, with Al Hanam as well, and Phoenix. Um, the the main Phoenix target is actually Hope, because having a nine K that cannot be targeted by abilities is actually really really annoying. Yeah, no, no, yeah. It's, it, he's um, he's resilient, um, um, and, and, and so that's why I only have two of him. No, my, my I don't need three because. <laughs> He's like the main Phoenix target. I'm I'm curious as to why you'd want uh, Dark Lord in this deck because, like, it's the best card. You, you can't it play this card, card this Dark Lord early. Yeah, yeah. Because you're you're relying on hitting specific so, late game cards. So and you can't play Dark Lord late because it's Dark Lord. No, okay. So so this Dark Lord, right? Is uh, he in there because it, he's a father? No. Oh, he is. He's a king. Yeah, no, but he's also a father. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I mean, the thing is, yeah, he's a recent addition, mm-hmm. okay, and I've added him. I haven't, mm-hmm. I have, I haven't done like enough testing for me to want to keep him in. Mm-hmm. But he's a FFCC character, and do you know what that means, Jared? Oh, oh my god. He deals <laughs> yeah, yeah, more okay. damage so because yeah, of Chalinka? Yeah, see? Chalinka okay. gives the to 1,000 more damage. So he now so deals 4k? Dark Lord does 4k, and then if Chalinka is already on the field, because you know Dark Lord is oh, already on the field. That's so And greedy, then, and then Al Hanau can do another 2k, and then it's like, <laughs> you, you've got all. That's you know, so greedy. <laughs> I mean, I, I like it, but it's greedy. <laughs> I mean, okay, so, so the, uh, the idea is you only need one hope. One Chilinka and mm-hmm. one Yuri in the break zone. And then everything opens up to I, I presume you're playing Fallacious Wanderer for similar reasons, so you can like Phoenix it in and then activate your Al Anahalem? Yes, yes. All right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so you can go Al Hanam, Phoenix in, Al Hanam again, you know, and then activate one even forwards. How do you say that? Al Hanalem. Al Hanalem. Al Hanalem. Al Hanalem. He's just Al Hanalem. He's just a tree squire. I'm gonna call him Tree Squire from now on. He's a tree squire? I don't know. He looks like a tree squire. Even I, thought, though, I thought it was a robot. Even though his but he's a mage. He's his one head of, looks like a shoe. He's one of the few mages was, outside of Earth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, that, that is true. Um, uh, it's funny. Uh, I was recording a, um, a Japanese band card list. 
uh, the old the chapter series. <coughs> mm-hmm. um, and it was he on there? No, no, he wasn't on there. But um, the job where we talk about jobs, Kefka. You said Kefka. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's a Kefka there. His job, <laughs> it's literally buffoon. His job is a buffoon. <laughs> okay. like, what was the job? Um, that Kefka's job in one of the cards of chapter series is that he's a buffoon. Buffoon. <laughs> that is awesome. Uh, yeah, I, I'm recording that. I'm not sure. We'll, I'm, not, I'm not sure when it'll come out because um, I'm still like editing other stuff. But it's coming soon, guys. Um, a, a video on the banned chapter cards. Uh, um, you know, in in relation to the banned cards that we have. Anyways. Um, I'm just I'm curious as to whether or not there are any better options for the faceless not faceless um, Felicious, Felicious Wanderer. Wanderer I don't know he, he he's just been a good <laughs> card like just very cheap like a 1 CP 6k mm-hmm. there's, there's like, isn't bad but I mean like I mean he, he, yeah. he's definitely flex like don't get me wrong he's definitely flex but I, I always like the idea of having a um, weird flex but okay Weird flex. Still beaming the Genesis. No. I'm, just, I'm, I'm just curious as to whether or not there, are, there could be any other. I, I, other I, I always like to have a Phoenix target that is able to block as well. Mm-hmm. That is um, that's actually really cool. It used to be the lights of day. Yeah. Yeah, but um, but in this deck, you can't really afford to, to plan. Yes, yeah, so your other options are, I guess, like. <clears throat> yeah. But even see, see, I mean, eight can bring uh, bring himself back and activate himself. Yeah, I, but that's not that's not enough because he he can activate Alhanam as well. So that's, that's, that's true. Just worth it. Where is this one? Yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. Okay. I'm on board. Um. Oh, and also the best fire card. The best fire card is in this deck, <laughs> Ranger. Um, you, you're, you're, I, I'm 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 not sure if anybody anybody, anybody here knows. Genesis, did you know what the who the best fire card is? It's Phoenix. the best fire card. It's Phoenix. The best fire card is the three drop ranger. No, no, no. Right. The three it's, drop ranger. It's yeah. still Phoenix. Oh. It will the, always be Phoenix. No, it's the best fire card. Phoenix is is the <laughs> reason Absolutely. I should play this game. No, because you just I'm, attack with them and they're like, oh crap, I can't block him. Otherwise, I lose value. And if I don't block him, then I'm not blocking a four K. That's still doing me damage against my eight K. It's block. so fun to play with them. I, right? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, like uh, we talked about this last podcast, last podcast mm. right? Um, uh, uh, my, my I was problem at, with Ranger. Sorry, what, what's that, Genesis? Is, my problem with Ranger is that he only trades with six Ks <laughs> for cost three. I'm like, oh. No, but no, no, but that's the thing, right? You you make it so they make it double think, and if you have multiple Rangers on the field, they can't really like. Murad is more interested Ranger. in the mind game of yes. the of the Ranger yeah, yeah, as yeah, opposed yeah. to <laughs> yeah. like Ranger itself. <laughs> um, but, and then uh, remember we talked about last podcast. He's the card. He's he's. I'm gonna put him in my mono water list. He's, he's a lot more terrifying if you've got like um, Belias and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I think I, I well, honestly don't think that this this deck is necessarily. Oh no, to uh, it works here. Uh, it works great with Alnam because it's second ability when you have both Yuri and Chilinka deals. Um, Essentially, three K to mm-hmm. all their board because of you know, Chilinka, and three K plus you know this is three like K plus. Um, yeah, it's, I mean, it's still... is, is that relevant? Like five K. Yes. Five K is not going to kill anything on its own. You still have to like follow it up with something else. Do you know how many people play Lil the Viking? <laughs> like, I suppose. I I still have only ever played against one one Lil the Viking player. Well, we like, have a lot here. It's but, just... um, a lot of people are playing Alana. I'll uh, I'll him now, so I kind of mm-hmm. just threw in Jill from Opus Two. Yeah, <laughs> and, and 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 do you know what's 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 so great about that Jill? She's even better than Aerith to block oh, yeah. Al Hanam. <laughs> oh yeah, because Aerith is like, oh, backups can't choose forwards, mm-hmm. but when you have both Yuri and Chilinka, Al Hanam doesn't choose forward. He just does an AOE. Mm. But Jill says backups can't mm. deal damage. Yeah, yeah, and it's like in the current method that Jill is better than Aerith, which just feels bad, man. Well, I, I remember because um, back back in it was that's the Opus Two Jill, right? I yes. remember way back then. Um, well, we thought this is such a bad card. No, no, I, like in because we 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 didn't really have the meta that we had. Like you and I didn't play it so much back then, but yeah. Chris played that against my fire decks. Ah, uh, okay, and you, <laughs> it was frustrating. Um, and obviously, you can't play wind deck or um or fire deck. A wind without, deck without playing VV. Uh, without 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 playing Ustola uh, and uh, fire deck. Yeah, Ustola is one of the best Phoenix targets, just in general as yeah. well. And she gives you a lot of flexibility. Yeah, and then we got Lan, and we got Yuri. Yuri for all the all so the shenanigans, and one, we got one, Giselle. Cause one thing I can't help but notice suck. is is the hmm. especially low EX burst number. So oh come on! I don't know. What, why did hey, like, Where's your Zaz? Where's Zaz? Huh? Especially if Phoenix. 
I think I the best play in your deck. The best play was definitely using your own Yastola to start Dark Lord Mill. Yes, exactly. Like, oh, <laughs> you can do that? Wait, that's you can, you can, you can do? do? Yeah. That's awesome. You, you can. That's, that is so expensive. That also feels worth it, though. Late game, maybe. Le maybe late game. Like, but early game, well, you're just I mean, losing all it the Tosa. Oh, yeah, yeah. So. yeah meat value. Actually, actually you know, it, it is worth it. it right? make, well, it, it makes Dark Lord, what? Three. Just a three drop, 8k. Five. So no, no, five or seven CP. no. It, it makes it makes him an eight CP four, because Oof. three three CP four you still up plus yeah. the card, so it makes it eight CP eight K. <laughs> that deals four so K to something every, every turn, turn because of your your Chalenka. Every turn, amazing, absolutely. I, I, I've been very impressed by Dark Lord any time I've had one in play. So, <laughs> so um, what happened against um, Wednesday with Kevin? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, was uh, he was playing a. Yuna, the new Yuna, the mm -hmm. light Yuna, full EX burst deck. And he was, he's been, he's been talking about doing that. Yeah, and it was, it was actually better than his other Yuna deck, uh, in, in my opinion. That was going like half EX burst, half like good summons. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. EX burst for the way to go. It's so stupid. Uh, <laughs> have you, have you played against the Seymour Genesis? The, the new Seymour. The new Seymour. The yeah. new Seymour is so yeah, cool. So um, I have a friend of mine who both play on Lightning, and yeah. that Seymour is actually what lost me the game. When I was playing our tournament, oh really? It's amazing. Yeah. It's a, okay. So you so you know what's so stupid about Jack is that is that knowing that your opponent has a full EX burst deck is fine. <laughs> like who cares, right? Mm -hmm. But knowing yeah. there's a seven CP order on the top it just feels so disheartening. It's like, and oh, just like I guess I can't uh... attack now, <laughs> unless you're you got a wall. Right. Yeah. But yeah, then yeah. the lightning deck's not gonna let you I keep was, a wall. I was. I, what the, you do? Yeah. Is what you play a. Heroic Riku from Opus One and just mm -hmm. mill it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, no, that's, that's true. That's hundred percent true. And then there's another Ozen under that. Just yeah. because. Oh my god. <laughs> I actually got um. I actually ran my friend into like the ultimate like just risk it all. He's just like you know what I'm just screwed. I'm just gonna use Seymour right now at nowhere and he flips Raiden. Oh. Wow. So <laughs> oh, that's that that's gonna feel good. <laughs> that's the that's the dream. Uh, but yeah, anyway, so he's playing that Seymour and stuff, and then um, uh, for some reason, uh, we, we reached mid-game, and we both had reactive cards, and I couldn't do anything. I was playing my Rebels deck, mm -hmm. right? And then uh, what happened was that, uh, okay, I couldn't do anything that turn. I had so many cards in hand. I paid one CP to give him a Leon, okay? Okay. <laughs> and then I cast a Phoenix to get back a Maria, but Phoenix doesn't say you have to choose up to. Uh, it says choose up to one forward your opponent controls. So you could choose zero. So I chose zero forwards because he had no forwards, right? So I chose zero forwards, mm -hmm. got back Maria onto the field, dull, and got back Leon, and plus my turn with still five cards in hand. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and it was like, okay, I guess I just paid um, eight CP and a card for an 8K and a 5K, that's dull. That's very important, <laughs> that's dull. Uh, yeah, so, that's so stupid. It was just like a, a little awkward mid-game, we were both dead, a whole bunch of reactive cards. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I, um, I played this deck um, yeah, um, a little bit, and yeah, I, I quite liked it. That's um, interesting, I, I've been curious as to what people might do with uh, like Yuri Chalenka stuff. Cause... I mean, like, if, if you're already playing Illyria and Latov, like, why wouldn't you just put the new hope on? Mm. You know? I guess. And then, like, yeah. it's it's funny that he he sort of exists <coughs> to not be played with the uh, with his own parents. <laughs> I mean, I do Dude, have his I mother here. So hard. He was actually going to be my third meme for this, just because of that. Oh really? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Like, don't 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 tell the people all your secrets. Oh, oh you need to do like the um, what's that? Mm. No longer friend, uh, no longer son of of Bartholomew and Nora. These are my new parents. <laughs> yeah, maybe we'll do like, that sometime. Uh, um, yeah. So, what do you guys think about this deck? Any thoughts? Any recommendations? Genesis. Play more Phoenix. Play more Phoenix. Play more Phoenix. Genesis, are you there? Ooh, we lost our guest. Oh no. That's not good. Hey, hello. Oh, oh hey, hey, you're back. back? Yeah, sorry, my internet had a little crash there. Nah, all good, all good. I, I was just asking you, um, do you have any recommendations uh, for this, uh, for my deck, or any comments? 
right. <laughs> I think I'm back. Okay. <laughs> Murat, I'll Murat try is desperate for your 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 input on his. Deck. Yeah, yeah. I, I was I was just saying. Do you have any recommendations or comments on this deck? On the what? I'm sorry. On on the hopeless orphans. Oh, no, I love it, dude. It's so good. <laughs> well, I don't know how good it is, but like I like all the meme plays you can make. And it looks really well. This is a actually, I'm actually a really big fan of Yuri. Yeah, I'm obviously you. You're, we're gonna see a lot of Yuri worlds. I I can almost guarantee the, that. The other thing that's just dick, like there there are two four cost summons that sort of just wreck you. Which one? Zellera and um, Exodus. They they both just sort of. Oh yeah! Oh my god! Three and four cost. Yeah. <laughs> I'll pick three. <laughs> Oh, big four. No, they'll have like only a four cost thing in play. <laughs> they, yeah. they can't kill you if you never dole. Just mm-hmm. saying. Yeah, yeah. And you can you stole it. <laughs> you can you stole it, and you can yeah. Phoenix in a fallacious wonder. And you, you can, can Diablos to activate all your <laughs> boards as well. Yeah, you can Diablos. Yeah. I suppose I mean, you've got you've got resilience for Zellera, but maybe not so much for Exodus. No, you just smile and Phoenix and you stole it and then cancel theirs. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that is the best feeling. Yeah, I, Phoenix I and you stole that. that and it's yeah, it's the best, the best thing. Anyway, like I always want to just add a, a, an Ishtola to my Phoenix list even when I'm not wind. Just... That's 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 totally a legit. I know. Fight. It's just there's so much space. There's so many good Phoenix types. No, just one, and then you can find it with meat and discard it. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Easy. I need to get my foil beast. Perfect. Um. Anyway, so uh, we're going to move on to my second deck that I have been playing on uh, Untap, and people are like, oh, that's so cool. What does uh, it do? It's called Maths Squall. Math Squall? Oh, no. Maths. <laughs> I remember Math that. Squall. Math Squall. You're playing Math Squall? Yes. That's that's the Opus 2 Squall. Right? Yes, that is the Opus 2 Squall. That's this what we always is, used to call the, the Opus 2 Squall back then. Yes, it's right. Math Squall, right? Surprisingly <laughs> large squall. Um, and, okay, so so this vet school, it's so funny, right? People funny. people don't know how to play against them. I swear, <laughs> right? <laughs> like if they don't have a Diablos or they don't have like Alcid or they don't have like Mover, they're like, how do I deal with it? They're like, I'll party attack on three forwards. Oh no, they still all die <laughs> because they have first strike <laughs> because he gets bigger and it's like, oh crap! <laughs> um, and he's just so good. And it's like, and it's like, okay, what is his power currently? I'm like six thousand power. And then they go, they go attack and go like, block. Now he's 10,000. No, 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 they attack and he's become 7,000. And I go, mm-hmm. oh, block. And like, okay, so you die? I was like, no, no, he's 7,000. He has first strike too. And I was like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, uh, he's such a meme. He's such, he's such a great meme. Anyways. Um, so what else? This, is, this, Unlike the other one, this has got like all, all fives, right? Oh, wait, no, this, I, I misread that. Those are um, uh, did, uh, did you open the deck Genesis? Yeah, hold yeah, on, yeah. let me switch my internet real quick. You got okay, the full no Psycom Brigade here. Yeah, Renola, so, Sarah. Um, let's just, let's just the new, start. the new Legendary Sarah? It is, yes, it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she's so good with the Psycoms. Yeah, okay, Legendary so, Sarah is amazing. Okay, so th- this deck actually fully utilizes Sarah. Mm-hmm. This deck started off, mm-hmm. okay, just because this Squall, this 5-drop Squall, mm-hmm. okay, works amazingly with 1-drop Flander. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. What yeah. you do? What you do? Uh-huh. The, the ideal plan. Uh-huh. You attack with the. Squall. You had me at Flanders. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. I, know. I, I had everyone at the Flanders. Um. And so you attack with Squall, right? And they dealt all of their backups, and then you go Flanders. You can't block me unless you discard a card. <laughs> yes. And they oh, discard that's a card, so cool. and you go Flanders. You can't block me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the thing is, right? That turns that flander into just a better ice flander. Exactly, exactly. Oh, Chris would hate this. <laughs> and then, no, the, the, the funny thing is, right, is that the Psychom War. Okay, so it, it went from Squall, mm-hmm. okay, to Flandit, and it went to Psychom Wardens. The reason why it's a Psychom Wardens is because you can flood the build field, like, really well. Yeah. So, 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 so you play, like, three Psychom Wardens and you have Squall. And the next following turn, even if they got, like, like a big, big forward, right? Mm-hmm. You just go attack with Squall, and then throw their back and they flant it. And if they don't. Pay with the Flandin, then all my sack of wards can just go through for this is awesome. damage. I love this. Um, yeah, and then and then when I put in Flandin and Psycho Warden, right? What are they? They're category thirteen. Yeah, so you can just double right? with Sarah. So then Sarah just works amazingly, right? Because then that uh, that gives Sarah an extra uh, th- that makes Sa- Flandits do something when you're not when they're not yeah. being used, right? Because if if they don't tap to make you pay one. They can tap to freeze a forward, like like why not, right? 
gross. <laughs> just, this is just gross. <laughs> and no, no. And yeah, go. What do you say, Genesis? I'll, I'll let you speak. So you just attack with Squall and then play Ultimacia? <laughs> just <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. That, that's, oh. the, that, that's the thing. No, okay. Yeah. So, so, so I've got three of Ultimacia. No, no, I, so gross. no. I've got three of Ultimacia because it's like okay. Now all their backups are dull. Now I'll just play Ultimacia. These are their backups. And then the next turn. Right, the next turn, I'll just renew my Ultimacia and make the freeze all their backups again. It's like, you want to you wanna pay for my Flandits now? Yeah, yeah. And then the turn after that, right, I'll play Harrelsberger and then they can't attack me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the memes, the memes are this real is, this way. This is sweet, I love this. And then I can renew the Harrelsberger, you know, and then I can make them <laughs> not attack again, and I can just keep on attacking my Flandits and Squall. Murad, this might be my favorite one of your decks ever. <laughs> this is like the best way to mill your opponent. <laughs> Is this is this so? Oh, so just, like we're in the discard. Sorry. Yeah, it's <laughs> this, this backup line is also super interesting. Oh, okay, so okay, so 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 okay, Kate Sith has to be there because um, Squall is very liable to Diablos, mm -hmm. and so Kate Sith because you want to you want to save your Squall. Yes. Your Squall does nothing when it enters yeah. the field, right? Um, Sid Wolf or one of to get back to Flanders and sell Swamp Monk. Just a just a mm -hmm. solid, it's a solid backup. Um, two turn the bar because you know backups dealing damage suck. And also because she's a category 13 character. Yeah, no, she's got yeah. extra synergy. And, and, and so she has 13. synergy with Sarah, right? One of Tama because... Because you can't play a deck that doesn't have it. Because Tama's amazing. Um, mm -hmm. just, uh, um, uh, one of Mass Women because everything is usually, is usually dull anyway. So I can just like, you know, kill it. Um, it it's, it's, it's a great tempo. It's a great tempo and anti-aggro play. Because um, the thing that beats this deck is when you just go face. And that's why I've got Mass Woman. Um, I've got Shantoto. I've got Vanille. Mm -hmm. um, as a way got to, a, a to good ward number of off Hecatonkers as well for yeah, her. Yeah, to, to, to ward off that kind of thing. And um, two Mark 32 because I need to find my Sarah. Mm -hmm. um, or even like a second ward just to, to start the chain off. Um, two Devouts because I need to Renoa, uh, devout my Renoa mm -hmm. for those six, six Renoa plays. Um, two Minor because getting back, I don't know. I don't know, an Ultimacy or something is good. Like, mine is just a good card. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I don't have to. Um, and Kazusa, because he's, he's like Mars Woman. Uh, this is your, like, one of your big, just delete yeah, that thing. I don't want thing. that thing. Um, two, okay, so the reason why I'm playing two mini flare, can, can you guys can you guys guess why I'm playing two instead of one? Ultimacia. Usually I just play one. Oh, no, no, no. no. Genesis, why am I playing two mini flare? Two characters in the break zone, add them to your hand. Hmm. Usually, usually I just put a one of mini flare. Yeah. Interesting. Usually, I would play a one of mid player. What do, you, what do you guys think I'm playing two this time? I have no idea to be honest. Because early game, okay. Unfortunately, whether you want to or not, you're going to have to <coughs> discard your Flandits. And the way mm -hmm. to get back your Flandits is either Sid Wolf mm -hmm. or by Minfilia. All she the time, back two of them, all right. the time, I play mid mid game yeah, just to get back, sense. just to get back two planets, and they know oh, it's yeah. coming. The, they know it's coming. They're the inevitable, like, or they're the most essential part of your your combo, right? Yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes you have to discard them early, and so mm. you, you need you need to have you need the recursion. Yeah, yeah. You need the recursion. And two Chantel because she does that characters, does she? That's so cool. Yeah, characters. Yeah, yeah the same characters. Yeah, and and also Swap Monk, right? Swap Monk can dull for Sarah when he, you can't mm. even use him for a, for an attack. You can just dull stuff to freeze them. Yeah, um, I, that's that's the thing I like most about <coughs> Sarah. She just like she takes all of your your monsters when you just can't use them. And um, uh, the, okay, so if anybody that's wondering, right, it's okay to run four or five or six seconds on Kiru playing Vanille, okay? And yeah, I love and it. and if you are playing uh, five, <clears> this <throat> is the correct split. Anybody doing the other split, which is why why is two, this the correct split? This is a hundred and twenty percent. Okay. The best lit for Hecaton here. Why? Because three drop Hecaton here is immensely better than the two drop Hecaton. Why? It hits so many yeah, great because. But, but what are the targets that you're worried about? Everything. Like, you got okay. You, you, I, I'm asking you because I'm. I want you to explain it to okay. people who don't understand. Oh, okay. okay, okay. <laughs> I thought. I, I thought. It's, I thought it's not as evident as you think. I thought you're antagonizing me. <laughs> no, I just there will be people who don't know you as well as I. Okay. Do. Okay. So um, yeah, you get you get to kill things like Star Sybil. You get mm -hmm. to kill things like Devout. You get to mm -hmm. kill things like the New Snow. Mm -hmm. Everyone thinks that New Snow is good. I don't actually think so. I'm still know. pretty terrified of him. I don't. Really? I don't Ooh. think it much. No. He he he's not that terrifying, eh, Genesis? Maybe maybe <coughs> he's I'm, really not. Yeah. Maybe mm. I've just got flashbacks because from when 
like he's such people a people used investor. to play the one drop one, and it was mm. hard to kill him because of the Sarah. Like he's but, kind yeah. of like high risk, high reward. Mm. Like if you let him go off, he's good. But he has so many ways to just get around him. I mean, yeah. like I play lightning. You can't dome me if you have no forwards. Yeah, <laughs> that's yeah. true. Um, it's an entire turn, like four CP that you spend playing a backup that's gonna do nothing until you attack. So if you can't attack, you spend four not discarding me or doling me. That's, that's yeah, that's such hundred percent true. It wants to be in an aggressive list. But but even okay, that's true, right? But and any list that's not super aggressive, right? It's taking up the devout <laughs> slot. It doesn't have access to haste. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have access to haste. It's giving up that devout slot because yeah. that's no like you can't have too many four drops. No, no, it's, no it's, I agree. It's, yeah. you, you can't, and so especially would you rather line. play devout or would you rather play snow? I would rather play devout most of the time, to be honest. I play devout unless it's a thirteen deck. That's the only time I considered snow. Oh, okay, fair enough. Yeah, I can think of a few yeah. like ice fire lists that I guess, might want to run them instead. I guess, yeah. I guess, I guess I can run snow on this, but I, I just, I don't. Especially yeah. with like, like think of a, an ice fire list that runs things like Celis. Mm. It just it, it turns Celis's <laughs> on combat trigger on. Mm. Yeah. Um, um, I, I was kind of hoping he would say. When an ice forward attacks, that way you could give one to every other element. So like fire could get an unblockable one, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Or like oh, actually, could, actually, we could get actually, like a, a a cycle of them. So like fire's one would be like whenever one of your forwards attacks, deal two K to something. Yeah, yeah, or, that, yeah. And earth that, one would be like whenever a forward um, a forward you control attacks, yeah, give yeah. another forward plus two K or something mm -hmm. like that. That's true. Yeah. That's true. And that was just crazy because you just play both and get two values for it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not sure if they're gonna go down that route to be honest. Yeah, probably um, not. But it would have been nice. Yeah. Uh, and then one cycle of Forcer because Forcers are annoying. And you can also, you know, Renoa it back yeah. whenever you need to. And you go up to Belt, sorry. Um, yeah. I, I actually, actually, it's this is not meme enough for me. I need to find one space to put in a magic pot. I need to find oh, space for the magic pot. Definitely. Because magic potting a Renoa, <coughs> magic potting a, a, a Ultimate is just value. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty scary. It's just, it's just value. Uh, because okay, so sometimes like you have an Ultimisia and your Renault on the field, and you can't play Renault mm -hmm. on Ultimisia anymore. Then you have to like recklessly attack with them, hoping for them to block them. And then, yeah, I guess that's first of all. Did you consider <laughs> trying to find room for Laguna in this? Uh, take out, the, take out Cecil. The search for a score. Yeah, I, I actually, I actually might take out Cecil for. It. I'm not even, uh, I'm not even joking. Um, uh, I, I'll tell you, I could take out a backup for it. I've got, got eighteen. Got 18 yeah, that's, 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 but. <laughs> Do I like you said before, two, you two of them you, share Tato. Yeah. Anyways, um, uh, what were you saying, Genesis? You said, uh, oh no, oh, I said. I was yeah, asking. I said, um, uh, Cecil, yeah. yeah. You, would you consider finding room for the uh, Laguna? Well, Laguna from last set. Oh, uh, the three drop one. To yeah, so you can. Oh, okay. You have score. Yeah. See, I whenever I put in that Laguna, mm -hmm. okay, I kid you not, okay. All the squalls go to the demon zone. <laughs> okay, I'm not even joking. So, I took so you're him not out. playing him out of superstition. I, I took him out. <laughs> I took him out, and I started drawing all the squalls. It just happened. Uh huh. It just uh, happened. I think. I think. Probability <laughs> might not be the best reason not to run him. Just going out on a limb. I think uh, maybe you could probably still find room. Uh, just maybe. I, I don't know. I, I I don't I don't really want to find room to be honest. Because you're just gonna draw the squall naturally. It's I fine. suppose, it's and fine. like it's not until you you've set up anyway that you want to hit him. So yeah, yeah, because playing him early is just like mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty pretty hard. But yeah, I played this, play, I, um, back up Renoa. Oh, back up <laughs> Renoa, oh, yeah. And then no. Hecaton carry your own Renoa. I feel yes. like that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, that's the thing, right? Hecaton, you can you can Hecaton your own Shantoto, and then Shantoto again. That's so cool. I love that one. <laughs> <laughs> because they're like, oh, I, I'm not gonna fear Shantoto anymore. I guess I'll go all out for the same CP. Wrong. If you're doing that, you should just be playing Delita, right? Which Delita? Delita. Yeah. Break a backup Delita. But then Delita uh, just gets killed. Yeah, but then that takes up a forward slot. Like this is. Uh, I guess you're playing this anyway. You know. <laughs> well, I suppose so. Wait, wait. If you're playing that, right, it's gonna get RFG to Shantoto. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but yeah. so is everything you've got in play anyway. And Hikatonka doesn't get RFG, but the Gen Toto, it's, it's done its yeah. thing. Like, at least you had a forward for a turn. We're trying to waste CP. No, no, you do it the same turn. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh, like, I guess. Um, yeah, I really, wa I really want um, Square Enix to print a Renoa for backups. What do you mean? Uh, oh, a Blinker backup. Yeah, Blinker backup. That would backups. be pretty cool. That would be so cool. They, they probably will do at some point. It's really? Like, yeah. It's a card they could print. It's... 
Like, I don't like, know. Only a matter of time. I mean, like, like eventually you run out of effects elsewhere. So they kind of print it. Yeah, but then the, uh, it has to be. Like, <laughs> Assuming the game goes on long enough, they'll print that effect. It, it will, it'll have to be super over costed, don't you guys think? I don't think so. Um, because of San Toto, right? So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably. No, Sin that, exists. I was like, oh, yeah. Huh? Sin exists. <laughs> yeah, but Sin like deals your opponent damage, so doesn't take up space in your backup line. <laughs> but it also kills Renoa. I think oh, okay. five cost is good, right? No, maybe. Which Sorry, one? one doesn't do anything else. Uh, five, five cost. Is, is it is it is it a backup or is it a forward? I guess that's the other question. Probably. It would be interesting so if it were a backup. Line. Maybe, yeah. Well, actually, like, we we do kind of have this, this already. We've got mm-hmm. the new um, Yagrosh. That's um, true. I mean, they, like, yeah, because he only like, costs one, you probably have CP left over to. Yeah, and you can play it off Shadow Tonto. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Like Dolma, that. Oh, Dolma. and that, no, that way you don't even have to draw another one. No, actually, no. The problem there is that you can't do when you have full backups. So when you when you have, when you have all five backups, True. you're still yeah. No, that's yeah. why I think they put it on a backup. Mm, like, yeah, the, like the way that I that balance limits. having something that blinks a backup is by mm. putting it on a backup. Yeah, maybe, maybe. Because then, Mune is only cost two, right? Or yep. does she bounce? She she costs two, but she draws you a card, so she kind of no, yeah. Kinda but like she only way. bounces a card two, or or any cost. That's, that's anything, right. anything, yeah, anything. Any, anything, any character, any okay, character. Yeah, so that works. Like, Banish yeah. Antoto, draw a card, play it. Yeah, um, people do that all the time in the uh, Water, Wind, Earth monster decks. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a, I, I know. It's a legit it's thing. Just, it's it's just, a legit thing. I, I, I can't be, a, uh, be a rebel and play Opus 1 Riku to return all your backups to your hand. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There and we then go. just pitch them all for Shantoto. <laughs> <laughs> those are the real plays right there. <laughs> right there. <laughs> um, amazing. Yeah, so what do you guys think of a Matt Squall deck? I, I'm super into this deck. This is so cool. I and, like Any I, recommendations? I, um what would be uh, other than maybe finding Rufa Laguna? And, and and the Magic Pot. Magic um, Pot. Yeah. I think <laughs> I, I magic like Magic Pot, pot but I can never find room for it in any of my decks. <laughs> magic so. Pot is legit. Magic Pot Hey Magic Pot Ultimisia, Magic Pot Renoa. Mm. But yeah, so yeah. Um, just I having. I like the... it. I think it's funny. Did just... you want to like? You could probably find room for maybe the new vanille. Oh, I've tried it. Mm-hmm. Well, I've, tri- I've tried the new vanille. vanille. That, that, that was the initial list with the new oh, vanille, yeah. and it's great. Don't get me wrong. I used to even play the Yule backup. You know, mm-hmm. they can talk a top card. That's great. Don't get me wrong, right? But I still lost to early aggro. So I. But she's good against early aggro. Assuming you. This can... this vanille is much better against early aggro. Yes, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, no, in, in this deck you can run Yule, the backup Yule that can look at top card. Yeah, 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 but yeah. I mean... Esposite is hitting two cards, though. Yeah. Versus, it's, yeah. like, you might, you, you're not likely to set it up before the mm-hmm. aggro deck hurts you. Yeah, and at that point you might as well just play five drops, that's what's um, Yeah, so the, this vanilla just stops a lot of aggro. Maybe playing the, the starter on the bot, cost. just because then you can't... Oh, oh for, okay, so that that idea has been made by... Uh, yeah, there was, <laughs> really? there was a list that we were looking at, yeah, yeah. not last week, <laughs> no. but the week before. No, by, uh, by Jeff, uh, one, mm. of, uh, one of the local players. Um, so the idea with that deck is to run um, just one Aegis, mm-hmm. yeah. and like one for Soya, and all the, and all the other cards for cost. So you play Morrowind, oh right, to find the Aegis, right? And then you play the Aegis, and then you get to play for Soya from your deck. Yeah. Value. <laughs> Value. And then, and then oh all God. of your all of your vanilles always. Yeah, always and then all well. your vanilles just forecast. You don't need to run any mm-hmm. shenanigans. So That's it's, crazy. A, it's a water oh earth. God, I so I, it, it's yeah. occurred to me a, um, a thing that I think I would change in this. Mm. I would maybe, maybe I, I know that this this gel is good in the current meta, mm. but the AX bursting the ex bursting one that like that that card lets you develop against the aggressive decks. Like, it, I wouldn't use you just need this to buy time. Meta is heavy on the burn. Yeah, so like that's something that I would probably swap. Um, yeah, if, if people know. like if people are listening and they're wanting to adapt it. Oh, and definitely. Like, and, and their their meta isn't full of backups that deal damage. And and and, and if you want to go even more mean, right? Um, you can go like Amidar, and then you can run like um. Oh, yeah, Amidar is pretty cool because Amidar can be tapped for Sarah, mm-hmm. and then yeah. you can go like Lightning, and then you can play Lightning off Tama and Shanto, <laughs> and off of the snow that you're putting in the deck as well that searches for Lightning. Yeah, exactly. And then, uh... then Amidar can search for that. I've made I've made a deck with that already. You're so crazy. Perfect. It's so I love greedy. It. Yeah. I heard the word. 
<laughs> it's like, and then we're going to play this lightning card oh, yeah, that we uh, otherwise uh, cannot put into play. Yeah, one of the one of the initial versions of this deck was actually had the lightning lightning <coughs> backup. Uh, of course right? it did. Um, and it's so funny. I was like, hey Kevin, come look at my backup. Like, is it beautiful? <laughs> I, I said this last last time. Yeah, no, I, yeah. I, I think I remember. Yeah. Um, yeah, I was like, yeah, lightning, earth, ice. Scroll. Okay, so yeah, that, like that's the only change that I think I. Um, I, I am. I'm, I'm, I do notice, like. I'm also considering. EX one. One. And <laughs> special ability is one. <laughs> and, 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 and that's the one you want to cut from it. No, no, yeah. Yeah, the, and, the and, Cecil's becoming and, and a And they're both, they're both in the same card. Oh, they're, they're both Cecil. Because, <laughs> mm, mm. like, this is the. You this it is out. One of the problems I always have with, like, decks that have to set up, like this one, is you're going to take damage. That's fine. So. You you want to have like some some comeback effects. Yeah, you've got you've like like you've like, you, you, you got enough anti aggro vinyl mass woman chantel to Kazusa. No, but you don't like you don't get anything for free in this deck. That's fine. Uh, well, when yeah. I've tested it, it's actually not that bad. I'm sure. I'm sure it's not. But like that's something I would my, 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 I would my, play around with. Like I I I'd get over the, the <coughs> you must include Tama in all of your decks. Claws that you Tama is amazing. I, always, I know, always but if you turned like those, that and the two jewels into it, like the starter on the bar, maybe ram. Um, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm okay changing it to starter on mm. the bar. I'm even also okay to maybe adding Yule or something. Uh, which Yule? Starting Yule. And yeah, and I, like, I really like the new Yule. The new Yule is just like search for a forward. That's that you'll draw any, next turn. Fun. Yeah. Why don't you just run Mog Mobius? One more CP and it adds to your hand value. Yeah. Mm. I guess. <laughs> but it's not a 13 character. Huh? It's not a 13 character, though. No, it's not. No, no. So, like, in, in this list, I think... Um, I mean, uh, the thing is... The, thing, probably the things that you do is actually blend it and swap marks. And this, there maybe, like, so the cycle board is... I've dealt the cycle board to free so many times. Mm. I wonder if... Um, <laughs> Mustadio might be better than Masked Woman. You just like EX no. first. I do. <laughs> because I like playing this kind of deck. Yeah. Right, and I, no, I like I play a lot of. All right, I'm gonna take like four or five damage before. Yeah, but yeah, but my Woman is so so much better tempo. I don't think this this isn't really a tempo deck though. Yeah, but tempo is super important in this game. No, but not in every game. <laughs> like this it isn't is. this isn't a tempo list. This is a control list. The uh, maybe uh, the other thing I would like to, uh, my change is change the Houseburger to a five drop uh, dark Kefka. Five. Oh, that yeah, and that would be cool. Mm. He'd, he'd and help you and I'll be flanders. able to find my Flanders. It also lets you do something else with your Flanders when, like, you attack with your. Um... I don't know. See, I, I've tried that strategy before. One of my initial builds with this was playing all the Flans, mm -hmm. so the Ice Flan and the Earth Flan, and it had two Dark Kefkas. And the idea, the, the the winning condition of the game was to have all those Flans and then tap <laughs> oh. Dark Kefka and make them all forwards. But people just kill the Dark Kefka all the time. Yeah, but then they have to. Well, they like, always do, and it's like uh, he's, he's, he's a sort of card that you have to answer, and he's, he's he is just going to die like that. So, but that's that's not the end of the world because he's already he's net your card. No, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, the rest of your, yeah, your strategy. It's, so, yeah, it's it's fine. Yeah, but like Hausberger, the memes though, no one plays Hausberger. You can play Hausberger and bring I, I lost landed. to it in our box tournament, so I hate that card. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's I super. Mean, I I field, and then they just play that in response. Yeah. yeah. I, like, I, love, I can't um, win this turn. Every, I, I love just playing it and, and nuking my opponent's um, break zones. Break zone, yeah. Like, yeah, that's what they did to me. Yeah. I couldn't Zemus anything anymore. I was like, <laughs> no, my else said. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. That's not Mimi enough, Genesis. You should say, no, my Kate said. My Kate said, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I could have doped you for one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. No, Zemi saying it and Kate said this is like max value, man. Max value. <laughs> And then hasting the Kate Sith and attacking, amazing, <laughs> amazing. No, um, and the, the other the other thing is uh, what you call it. Um, you lost to a one K. It's two K. It's a two K. It's a two K. Oh, okay. It'll be a three K yeah, because of your Lulu. Yeah, yeah, true, true. Oh, it depends, Jason. Uh, which Lulu do you play? Oh, I play the the rare Lulu, the booster. Oh, the booster. Because yeah, yeah. Dinian exists now, so I can't really burn oh, all true. my backup. True, like true, I used true. To. Um, but 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 people, somebody said a combo online. Uh, just the new Ramza with Zemus mm -hmm. is a lot of value too. Yeah, I don't. Yeah. I haven't been liking that new Ramza. Uh, to be honest, I don't like playing from my hand, and I totally agree with you. But playing it like from your from your break zone is super valuable. It's also potentially very good for the new Gilgamesh as well. I didn't like that card either. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the, I mean, yeah, uh, like. 
Yeah, it's I'm, fun I'm, though. I, I will say it's, it's fun. fun. It's mm. fun. It's fun. It's definitely fun. I'm, I, yeah, it's, it's it's not. It's like I like that it you exists. play it in that deck. Yeah. Is, what, is more I'm saying. I like that it exists. That's all I'm saying. I have opened so many of that. that I like when much. you can brave and swing for two, like <laughs> one every games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of. I don't agree with that Gilgamesh being a legendary. It's it's not bad. I, I know, it, but I, I feel like he might. Yeah, yeah. but then, but then, but then, with lightning, with this set at least, the other <laughs> legendary to compare it with is no. And let's just be real here. <laughs> yeah, I play that card. No, I love. I like it as a one. I, right, right. I, I like as a one. Like, I want lightning. to listen to the mono lightning player talk about the new null because we have been so divided on this card. But, no, <laughs> I, I just said I like it as a one off in mono. Okay. Lightning. But other like, than that, it's like what, what? What are your feelings about this? The, about um, over seven null. It's a few sets too late, to be honest. <laughs> I think I it would have been great, or like before. Yeah, I think I. Agree but with I, that. I mean, I don't mind it because it is like it is one cheaper than Odin mm -hmm. on a body, and then you're attacking and you're basically doing what Odin is doing for one cheaper, and then you get to keep a six k. No, people are like, he's just a six k after he does his damage. It's like, well, but he Elsid is also just a six k after yeah. he brings someone in. That's so that's yeah. not the worst thing. You're still getting the Odin off that one turn, and then you can still party attack, or you know, like Cyclops still exists. You can trade with a nine K regardless. Yeah, <laughs> so um, I don't think he's bad. No, I mean, like, I just don't think he's amazing either. I I don't think he's uh, okay. Like he, the six drop slot is already quite um, dense, mono. though, right? Yeah. In, mono, in lightning? mono lightning, I would not play it for really? sure. Yeah, really, really, because because the thing is with mono lightning, right? I always feel like <laughs> you you always need that extra thing to kill a problem folder like Yishtola, mm -hmm. right? Like, say yeah. you have an X of this and you want to play X, but you can't, right? You can just I play just like... I just play Adia. You just play, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess so, I guess so, yeah. Adia is the same cost, and she's EX. Yeah. And she doesn't have to attack to do it, so they can't yeah, you don't. You don't have to, like, <laughs> you, you give your opponent fewer opportunities to stop you. Um, yeah. which is the, that's, the that's, that's my biggest problem. You could cut but... for it is um, Estinian, but that's a big oh, no for no, me. No, no, yeah, it's, it's, Estinian is, is too, too, too strong. Mm -hmm. um, it's funny what Kevin said is like, um, <coughs> wind needs needs this card. <laughs> mm. if, 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 if Noel was a wind card, he would see like a lot of play. I, it's oh, it's yeah. weird that like yeah. like because there are just so many windows you can interrupt the yeah. the Noel with. Mm -hmm. Like he should say like. He enters the field as a, a 9k. Yeah, that, yeah, that's that, that, that's. You see, but like, because it's the 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 auto ability that gives your opponent an opportunity to just like, yeah. opens two e three dies to everything. Yeah, which like, is unfortunate. It's so yeah. easy to kill him. For I free. wish, I wish, I wish it was a 9k that says at the start of your turn he loses 3k. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. instead of being a 6k that plus 3k. Is a I suppose it's just that that's, mm. you know. <laughs> Anyways, um. I don't know. I think. Um, I've also I played that in Lightning Ice, but then I've been considering just swapping him out for the Emperor to dole two and then mm -hmm. deal something six thousand damage, and then just burn it anyways. It yeah. feels just as um, effective, if not more, <coughs> and it costs one less. Mm. That is true. Um, actually, before we go do that, um, we have. I wanted to. Uh, yeah, we, should, we, should, the... we should. We should wrap up, right? We should probably start. Yeah. It's let's get. It's getting time. It's getting pretty yeah. late here. Yeah. Where Whereabouts are you, Genesis? Um, I'm in Texas Central Time. In oh, the US, so it's awesome. One thirty. Wait, whereabouts in Texas? Wait, wait, wait. Is it one thirty a.m.? Yes. Yeah. Far whereabouts out. in Texas, you from? Sorry. Uh, Dallas, Texas. Oh, cool. Where? My, I, I was actually just in in Texas early in the year. I was in um, Houston, and we went down to Pet South Padre. It's fun time. Oh, nice. Genesis, yeah. do you know yeah, that Jared is also American? I am an American also. <laughs> High five. Jared's American? Yeah. yeah. Oh, nice. What's up? Do you live over there now too? Or? Uh, yeah. I, well, I, um, I went back and forth growing up. Um, yeah. Gotcha. See, I'm actually Mexican, but now I live in the States. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, anyway, so... Um, it's, a, it's a fun time and... and uh, <laughs> At the moment, then, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. We um, are not a politics podcast, though, so let's keep talking about yes. video games. Um, I'll, 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 I'll guess, uh, we're just gonna games. wrap up and uh, just guys remind you and um, tell your friends, tell your parents, oh, yeah. tell everyone, tell your cousins. The giveaway 
Tell the giveaway, everybody. The giveaway is ending next week. It, next week? Yes. So we'll be, we'll be announcing it next week? Um, live on uh, the podcast? Live? Tune in, folks. Ooh. Live? No, no, no. Tune live. in next it's... time on Dragon oh. Ball. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, we can, yeah, yeah, we can do it live. Yeah, we can do it live. Screw it. We'll do it live. Yeah. We're okay, gonna, all right. Um, so we're going to do the draw next week live so, so, somehow. So next Wednesday is when it's going to close, right? Mm-hmm. Um, but Friday, we'll, uh, we can draw it on Friday. Oh, well, we have. Well, we, should, we should probably announce it on Friday. And that's like, how are we going to draw it on Friday? Are we going to no, like, no, no, put no. all the names the in a hat p- and then rip, rip no, them No, it's push a button. Push a button. Yeah, and then a, couple, get a well, fancy mock button I'm winners still, button. I, I, I'm still not 100% sure how to do that because as soon as you push the button, it comes up with the name and their like, email address and stuff. We and probably I, 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 shouldn't do yeah, that on stream. Yeah, exactly. So uh, we probably have to do it off stream, but we'll figure it out. And, um, and so, guys. Just present it. Hmm? What? You can just like say the name. On yeah, the yeah, we could, and just. Yeah, but then, but then people. Like, can... I, I, I know what's gonna happen just though. We're like, we'll think that it's it not streaming that stream. Like that. <laughs> <But you> already... <laughs> no, but my problem with that, right, is that like um, people are like, oh no, you didn't do it properly. Well, I don't know. Like, makes sense. I don't think anyone's gonna accuse us of improper. Anyways, um, but also don't forget, guys, to send out you send us your questions for question one and two. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we might have, have even discussed that? Marad's favorite backup. This podcast. Are if you, you were, sure? If you were, well, yeah, I kind of, I kind of <laughs> tried to hint at it. Um. Anyway, <laughs> if you were paying attention, you might have heard us talk about it. Um. Anyways, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, question two: What kind of uh, future content you like to see? We actually love those suggestions. There's so many good suggestions. Mm, um, yeah, it's been um, really helpful. We've been, we've been looking at a lot of these. Uh, yeah. These sorts of things. Uh, so, like oh, one of the suggestions we got was, can you have more guests? So we got a guest. Yeah. Oh yay! I'm here. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> we got uh, follow us on socials. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Twitch, uh, uh, podcasts on iTunes, and also if, if you like to support us, come support us on Patreon. Yeah. And become an official modeler. An, of, an official modeler. You have been inducted yeah. into this into the exclusive ranks of yeah. the modeler. And then um, you have Good access to our, our, to our Discord server and. Um, yeah, just <laughs> which you are know. legally distinct from Moogles. Yes, exactly. <laughs> you're actually, you're actually legally distinct from Moogles. Um, and uh, yeah, and uh, obviously, if anybody's watching, um, if you've got any content creators that you want to add to this page, let me know. Yeah, let us know. Um, uh, I think I've added most people, but I think there's still a few people that I'm. Because we're. I'm, I'm waiting for them to be a little bit more consistent. The to, objective to with uh, with the site is to more just be an overall community hub. Sure, it's got a lot of our stuff on there, but we want to. We want to get as many eyeballs on as many interesting um, Final Fantasy trading card game content creators as we can because that's just growing like, the community. We, we want we want to grow yeah. the community, and um, the more people interact, the more people uh, watch each other, the, the better everything gets. So I've also um, added the banned cards in FTCG here for constructed. Yes, and, all and of those banned cards. Yeah, a lot of them. Man. A lot. How of many? Them. There, all of them. There all are a couple. The whole two of them. The whole, the whole, no, no, no. There's and three. You forgot, you forgot the other one, Genesis. And title oh, series, right. Jesse is yes. banned. So, so there's two buttons on this one. This is constructed, this is title. Um, and then we also got a how to play title <coughs> format. Uh, we also added the official FFTC merchandise. Mm-hmm. Um, this is um, this list was actually provided by Quankwe. Uh, hmm? She um, she has, I think it's a she, yeah. Um, she has like this um, board. Uh, yeah, when, you, when you click on it, you'll be able to know. And she puts all the FFTC merchandise. She, she sometimes streams as well, so go uh, go visit her. And we also got here a um, new to Final Fantasy um, visit here kind of thing, where um, uh, a a wonderful um, person in the community, Miles Greb, um, he's probably known about uh, talking about the jobs and about the girls <laughs> oh, and yeah. stuff. Um, like but, Tifa. Uh, yeah, like Tifa. Uh, but he's actually written a wonderful article about all the different Final Fantasies. Mm-hmm. Um, on his that own, article's great. On his on, on his own blog spot. Oh, sweet. And it also includes a Final Fantasy TCG. So anybody that I, I know a lot of people that play Final Fantasy that haven't played the game, uh, haven't played any Final Fantasy games before. Mm. This is a great read to know where to start. Yeah, where to do and there's it. like it's a lot. It's quite stifling because this, this this franchise has been around for thirty years now, right? Or is mm. 25, 30 years? No, it's uh, 30, 20, 25, 20, yeah, 25, 26. I, th- I, th- I think it's twenty six. They just have the thirty. No, they have the thirtieth anniversary. Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. Okay. thirty one then. Last year or this year? Well, it was yeah. last year, right? Yeah, so like, we've yeah, got, so 31 now. There's, there's so much stuff. Yeah. There, there's, it's, and like, do you want to play I'm, one of the main games? Do you want to play uh, like one of the spin-offs? Guys, I'm so completely There are two movies. Yeah, I'm, I'm completely in love with Final Fantasy 2 because of all of its oh, little tidbits. Oh, no. All of its little tidbits about its production and 
Also, there's actually a Japanese book on it as well. Do you guys know that? They do. Yeah, they release uh, an Ultimania with every one of them. No, no, no. This is like a like an actual novelized. Oh, really? Novelization of FF2. Yeah, they have they have novels of one, two, and three. Oh, They're that's cool. Pretty good. Right, yeah. So, have you have you read them? Um, I've read the first one. I've not read two and three. Because oh, I've, 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 tri- I've tried, I've tried finding the actual like you know full yeah. translation for at two, uh, but yeah, well, but somebody's currently trying to translate it now. There's also um, I noticed uh, I was just looking at random. Asked um, a friend what it said. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. I was fair just enough. looking for a random Final Fantasy swag. Yeah. I was thinking about getting making prizes for our. Um, our locals. Yeah. I found. I, I came across this. There was a Type Zero manga as well. Yeah, there is. There is. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Which is like that's kind of cool. Um, they also have the manga for I think it's fourteen or something like that that just came out last. Oh really? There was one for twelve, but they never actually finished it. And the the twelve manga got like really dark, and they just canceled it. Mm. Like okay. uh, Ash lost an arm in it. Oh really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, you can, uh, uh, you know, uh, we don't we don't have much time to go into it. Um, oh, there's yeah, so many probably. weird stuff happening in FF2 novels. <laughs> so like yeah. you don't even imagine. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's just, it's probably it's, it's probably too outrageous for this thing. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, uh, yeah. So um, go uh, recommend this uh, resource page to your friends, and uh, yeah. Um, I guess that's about it. Genesis. That's, that's us. Do you want to say bye bye to the viewers? Oh, and, and the is listeners? there other than our our meme Mondays? Mm-hmm. Is there any other content you throw out into the, into the void? Oh well, I've actually started talking to one of the mods in the group, and I was going to start trying to see if I can keep the statistics of the current meta. Oh, that'd be cool. In a page, yeah. I was going to start it maybe to man see if I can keep track of it. Now that we're in off season, it should be a good testing okay. time to get it through so hopefully by the time the game picks up again in the next competitive season it'll be something that we have consistently keep. Oh, okay so are you uh, are you in like a conversation with the ff decks um people that yeah that well i was just going to use their lists and i was yeah. going to ask them see if anything but mostly i was just going to take the decks that are 20 plus participants and try to keep a meta revolving around that and then sort of a smaller local meta kind of like Emmanuel Padilla did it back for Opus I mean, 5. I still have to keep, keep, keep reach him out to see all the specifics but it's something I'm going to start doing hopefully so, soon. Like that I'll seems watch like this a great thing. kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that, that seems like a great thing to put on the website. <laughs> wink, wink. No, yeah, for sure. Um, anyways. Uh, yeah. Uh, thanks for that Genesis. Um, do you want to say bye bye no to the listeners? Y'all take it easy. Have a great night slash day slash morning, wherever you're at. Slash 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so Jared, do you think yeah. you want to say? Well, thanks for listening, everyone. Okay, so um, the Mogpod hosts, or at least half of them, and Genesis <laughs> are out.